The following explains the basic training method of Wu Shu Bing Dao. The first is an armed training to prepare. An armed training is generally used to train our foot step to prepare. Step forward, step backward, forward steps with relay step, and backward slide step. You need to pay attention to the athletes or our students in the training process that the pace between the two feet should not divide. Let's start again to prepare. Step forward, step backward, forward steps with the release step, and backward slide step to prepare. Step forward, step backward, forward step with the release step, and backward slide step. In unarmed training, we can carry out empty handed practice to carry out our basic technical training to prepare. Split vertically. Split vertically. Split vertically. Chop slant wise. Chop slant wise. Chop slant wise. Inward chop. Outward chop. The training in this process is more to enable our trainers to use both hand feet. This step is very important to find a sense of hand as the beginner. Well, let's continue unarmed training. Hold the short weapon. Blade vertically. Split vertically. Split vertically. Chop slantwise. Chop slantwise. Chop slantwise. Let's take the example of splitting and chopping. When two athletes split vertically and chop slantwise, the main goal of the two athletes' offensive consciousness is on the tip of the weapon. But we need to put our consciousness on the rear handle in the initial training and gradually transfer it to the tip of the weapon. Also consider the trajectory line during the swing. This is unarmed training. Taking this blade and chop as example, the following explains the training on one move for training on the move. For example, I practice steps from this line forward, backward, forward pad, backward, forward pad, and backward. And we can use this method of training on the move to perform forward training. Or take the example of the step back while moving, retreat while doing slouching, retreating and slashing, retreating and slashing for training on the move. Combination training, including footwork, follow the steps forward with the right, and then pull back, follow the step with the right and follow the steps with the right, and then use this to train on the move. For example, retreat. Step backward, and the right step back, and then take this as an example. We can carry out different types of training on the move including two-person confrontation. Prepare, start. Retreat.
we can also conduct a two-person confrontation training on the move. And this is our first part of an arm training. Training on the move. The following explains the basic training methods of Wu Shu Bing Dao, hating target training. Firstly, splitting on the fixed target. Splitting on the fixed target. The process of target training is mainly to practice the hands and overall power of practitioner. Take this step forward and backward to do a chopping or slipping action, for example. The practitioner needs to pay attention to the full step. The form of footwork is not allowed to jump this way. Match the step of your feet and move accordingly. Refrain from appearing fluctuation in the practice. The practitioner has to pay attention to distance control and the strike's timing, including the strike's trajectory line. Perform striking, continuous striking. Form the process from the generalization stage to the automation stage. Then when the practitioner is proficient, we can do the moving target training. The moving target training integrated the practitioner's foot, jet, and the movement in the process of moving on the court. This is also the primary training method of target practice. Not only for basic pace training, but also for step changes. The opponent wears protective gear to carry out on the moving target for hitting training. Meanwhile, forming defensive movements. The following is an introduction to awareness training through hitting target. Awareness training mainly appears in the process of target practice, and it is essential to know that we should add techniques and tactics. The opponent's mind plays the target, saying 1 2, then I have to make 1 2 2 movement, or even a third, to prepare. In this process, we practice the athlete's technical and tactical procedure to an automated one. This is the basic target. The target practice explanation is finished. The following explains the two-person confrontation exercise. In the first part of the confrontation exercise, at the beginning, for example, we take the inward middle block and then an outward slicing. Demonstrate by example. Using this example, 
We can perform a more defensive attack with a single technique. Another example is to defend against the opponent's hitting from my outside body, at the same time to connect with a horizontal slash. This forms a training exercise. The two-player practice can also be used to practice a switch between offensive and defensive to prepare. Including the forehand posture and the counter attack drops and the slits of the upper part. Be prepared. During this process, we should pay attention to whether your return hand is in a defensive stance and whether the middle part can be loosened. Ready? Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you can practice relaxation first. This is an automated training method. This is the basic practice of two people against each other. The second is conditioned combat. For example, in middle part conditioned combat, both athletes can only hit each other in the middle part. Be prepared. For example, in middle part conditioned combat, therefore we have to think about defense all the time in attacking. Not only do we have to think about how to attack the opponent's middle part, but we also have to think about how to defend and how to contract in the process of defense. Taking the middle section as example, our judgment of the step and the advanced prediction of the opponent, including our distance, must be considered in the actual combat process under this condition. Let us explain the confrontation between those two athletes. The red athlete appear in a problem is an example. To prepare, Start. When the red side carry out the attacking stance, there is a slight opening from the inward slicing in the middle side. In the process of confrontation, these small details will become a break. Whether I can attack with this break also depends on the opponent's level skill. In our offensive movement, since we are already aware of the problems, through a series of training we mentioned before, 
such as NREM training, meditation training, heat bar training, etc. We have to make such breaks less and less obvious. No more abduction of his hands. We'll do the action after the outreach, after the defensive dance. How to be able to instantly strike and score? This time we have to carry out dismounting training. There is also real combat training. And we will demonstrate it below. Get prepared. Practical training is the test of the basic training of Wu Shu Bing Dao. Through practical training to find the shortcoming in the process of basic training, then carry out practical training problems, and then reverse the basic training. The basic training method of Wu Shu Bing Dao is explained. Wu Shu Bing Dao is a competitive sport based on the philosophy of Chinese Wu Shu weapon fighting. And it is a competitive sport that is based on the concept of Wan Yin and Wan Yang. It is also a competitive sport with offensive and defensive functions. Through practicing Wu Shu Bing Dao, we hope that our global friends may enjoy and love Chinese Wu Shu culture. Thanks for listening. Salute.